Appointments Committee of Parliament began vetting of the president's nominees for ministerial positions, the National Democratic Congress, NDC, gave a directive to its members not to approve the nominees. The vetting took place between February 21 and 22. Deputy Minority Leader Emmanuel Amakofibua says it is appropriate for parties to direct their MPs. It is done across the world. It's not new. In Ghana, if you want to know a political party that has given more directives to their parliamentary caucus, is the new patriotic party. A recent directive by the general secretary of the MPP to the majority caucus to work out on essential motion. The letter is all over the place. He argued that government should have aligned some ministries. We had an opportunity where three ministers had basically resigned. Minister of Trade, Ministry of uh, Greek, and then the Chief Tenancy Ministry. What an opportunity for the president to reduce his ministers by basically looking at the personnel there and basically moving some of them to these new positions. You listen to the performance of the ministers. Are you sure that we don't have men in this government who could have done better than them? in the vetting process. The chairman of the committee, Joseph Fosei-Wusu, indicated that the report, which will be taken to the plenary soon, will be by a secret ballot. Our recommendation will be that the majority says yes, the minority says no. If we recommend approval by consensus, then the decision is taken by voice vote. But when we recommend by a majority decision, then the report is adopted by the secret ballot. Our commitment is to make sure that we can get some of the members from the majority side to join us so that we can vote against this nomination when it is brought to the main house. And I think that that's the appeal to members on the majority side. And I know some of them do, that this government must cut costs and must make sure that they reduce the size of government. Join us in this crusade for the people of Ghana.